Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. It's me Nazi here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the JP celebration for the um, Saiyan Day celebration. So yeah, so it is a little different compared to the global version, and if you said it's enough to warrant its own video, and along with that, I've used uh, some of these units <clears throat> that are already out, so I wanted to kind of give another thought on them, like post usage, right? Just overall... Um, so let's hop right into it. Obviously, as we see, you know, Blue Evolution Magic, Easy A, stuff like that, all that shenanigans. So if we scroll down, we do have the Dokkan Fest banner for Maj Vegeta. Does this link to the Dokkan Fest banner? Yeah. It's it's an okay banner. Um, I think that this, you, no, I think you, 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 and you, these four will be helpful units in the red zone. Um, these guys will definitely help you all in the red zone. You with your heals, very, very strong for it. You with the damage reduction, especially as like the Broly boss. I think this Broly actually can work pretty well against. This guy is going to be a crazy leader for that. This guy is going to be wild for that as well. Uh, I think he's going to be a really good, you know, leader unit because he's a 200% leader skill unit. Um, you, I have my issues with you. I'll talk about you a little more later. But then, like, you know, Bardock, Transforming Vegeta, and this guy, like, these guys stink. I mean, this guy is featured so many times. I'm sure many people have him, like, rainbowed on and stuff like that. So, I don't know. These four kind of, I look at them, I'm like, eh. Even though I know you're going to get easy, eh? I still look at them, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Like, it hurts my soul, right? It's the past of pulling these guys, like, a billion jillion times. Oh, I dropped my water bottle. The past of pulling these guys, like, a billion jillion times, dude. It's actually just wild, right? Uh, but these these four are so usable. I, I think go to the trunks may be a little underrated. I want to use them myself uh, more just to see, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see more, right? Um, Elder Kai banner is up. Dragon Stone sales is actually pretty good. Uh, sales, which is really, really, really nice. The sales are nice. Um, that's cool. We have this Majin Vegeta Dokkan event that's up right now. We have the Extreme Z area for the Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Well, I, actually, I should... I might as well talk about these guys now, huh? Yeah, okay. So first with Maja Vegeta after the Token Fist Banner. I think he's good. Um, I think what I'm saying about him, like I know a lot of people really like this Maja Vegeta. I think he's good. He's definitely a very, very powerful, very, very good unit. I just think that he has a lot of restrictions that he probably didn't need like all like these goddamn restrictions, right? Like, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like, look at, he, ha he wants a Trunks on the team, first and foremost, he, he, he needs a Trunks on the team, the 30% damage reduction is very important for him, he needs 6 orbs, which is also very important for him, getting this extra 20%, it's a huge difference, even just this defense makes a gigantic difference, he wants to be under 88% HP to actually do like, okay, numbers like he, he doesn't even do that great numbers with it but uh, like uh, he needs this so he can actually do damage um he wants to receive six more attacks in battle which is kind of a toughish restriction for shorter events i feel like considering that this is an active skill that you want to use in short content uh specifically super battle road because not only does it stun but it aoe's so yeah i i, I don't know I don't really like this mixed together. I think they could have added like another thing, maybe when it's six at receive attack six of six or more times in battle, or when under 50% HP, something like that. His link set, like this link's dead. This link's really bad. This link's terrible. Like if if this if this was prepared for battle, that would change so much, dude. Dude, prepared for battle would change him so much because so many of, or saying lineage even, so many of these top tier units have those links, but none of these top tier units, it's like on his teams have like over in a flash, like we'll see like Kyle Ken Goku, and then like no, no one else here is like top tier, like Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, God Goku, I'll take those two, right? But like Super Saiyan 3 Goku when you transform, and that's it. Like, there's there's some units in here that's for sure like it's not like the link is completely an l good skeleton attacks are really good too but like you're not gonna run them like 
on rotation together for like like this guy these two will share like three links right here this guy actually i think is a pretty good partner for him this guy you need a transformer to him just there's a lot of things about it right no what a flash itself you, you saw the roster it's not even that big of a roster at all like obviously prepared battle and saiyan lineage would be a much better king link um royal lineage is fine but you need to be you need to be at level 10 links for that to matter because it doesn't get the two key unless it's level 10 links which so that means you have to get them to max links uh and i feel like a lot of people may not do that or get that chance right uh for months even if you're free to play so you're gonna be stuck at one key which is not really it's a fine but it's not that helpful right this guy um they're good well i want to say this guy's good still <laughs> don't don't get me twisted i'm comparing them to like other dokkan fest units like super saiyan 3 goku trunks um kid boo tech androids ginyu i think i think he's like on the level of like kid boo and trunks that's what like truth was saying and i kind of agree um by the way you guys are gonna hate me i kind of think tech gohan's better but <laughs> we'll see more these guys I and mean, just i talked about them a lot uh honestly and they're just a banner unit i think that they really needed to be a support unit that's what they need to do to fix them but i'll see how they look like again they want to dodge, but they can't only dodge after they attack in the first slot. So there's not going to be too many opportunities of that unless you're really lucky. They want to attack. So they're definitely a unit that builds up over time. Um, The reason why I think that's okay, since they're a unit that builds up over time, is that like in the legendary events, for example, they don't hit really that hard until you really get to the end. But like if you're talking about like red zone, you can't run this guy in slot one, right? So they can't get the dodge, like... I don't know. And they need a Vegeta on the team too, which didn't even work well with the Vegeta. So, I don't know. Kind of odd. These guys are going to get buffed. I really just want to point that out. I think, so they're going to get an extra 2008 stat, basically. So, 17.5k defense and then 10, 12k, 0.3k defense. Those are pretty solid stats. Like, that's going to make a pretty nice difference for them. I don't think it's going to make them, like, go from trash, like, god tier or anything. But, like, that will build up. Like, that'll add together, considering that they can quad super. They do stack attack still, which is not the best, but not the worst. You know, they're, they are self-sufficient. These, this is multiplicative, so that's going to get a huge, like, addition for those stat increase. I'll have to wait and see. Um, At first, they're kind of bad, obviously, right now. But with the stat increase, things could be looking different for them. So, we'll see uh obviously we have the great ape easy i mean just kind of skim over them vegeta's solid but you're replaced right links that sucks a lot of teams i think he can help people out for um like giant form super battle road though if you don't have the lr i think he's still a really good option this guy is probably like the lr <laughs> great ape vegeta's best friend right um they share like what like five links or something <laughs> like if we take a look here at dokkan info right i'm pretty sure they share like five links is the no they're not on here um they share they literally share like five links right four links right so that they're, they're pretty solid he's just orb hungry uh because he's the new king unit um this is a good effect i think he could be good right uh i'll have to wait and see i haven't really actually used him yet but i think he's gonna be a pretty solid unit so that's good obviously we have the great the kid goku um i think he's the best one just because this is multiplicative and that really works well with the stacking uh, that works like extremely well with that stacking actually he could do triple super attacks which is pretty cool um i don't think he has a stun no he does have the stun but he doesn't have the attack raise but that doesn't matter right that stun is the most important thing but like a 10 percent chance right yeah stall a link set nothing i don't know it's kind of sucks i think the link set yeah the link set's kind of bad <laughs> never mind um good amount of teams i think um this guy is pretty good though like as a like like a unit that you just throw on the team you need a last option like in a legendary event you need a stacking unit you're like damn i need a stacking unit right what do i do you just throw that guy on the team and i think he'll be really good for you so that's pretty pog at the very least um yeah it's cool the story event the story event introduces that manja vegeta uh support memory do the does the wiki have it listed um item what the hell's items? Yeah, support memories. The wiki might have it listed, but it's like um. The wiki does not have it listed. 
Again, it's the Majin Vegeta one where, you know, he's like, there's one thing saying always keeps his pride, right? That thing, right? Um, I will say that one is okay for like Corona Money and mine, right? It's like, it works like an active skill buff. It's not a turn buff, so it's good. Uh, at the very least, that'd be pretty pog for him. Um, let me actually change the song ahead. Let me get over here so you guys can actually hear music, right? Because that song is really quiet. <laughs> um, I mean, see, Global's acting again the first time with this GP, right? All these story events are up. The Infinite Dragon Ball History stage is out. It's actually pretty easy, I found, right? It's the... These are the missions right here for it. I mean... No, that's not it. Oh, wait. We're going to go level 19, I guess. Like, if we go down here. Stage 19. You want to use, um, Great Ape Power. You want to defeat all these guys, right? So, yeah, so you want to use Great Ape Power, and then you want to use a Giant Form. So, I did do this with both of the units, uh, requirements on there. Complete all the stages at once. If you haven't seen that, feel free to check it out. Check out the team builds and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, it was pretty easy, I found. These are weekend missions, so you can get 21 stones during the weekend, 7 stones a day. If you're a JP, make sure you get that done. This happens sometimes, by the way. It's not like all the time. Just for you global players may be watching this. So, Blue Evolution Vegeta is easier. We know that his weakness is Mastered Evolution. He's very powerful, dude. This Blue Evolution Vegeta is quite insane. Um, the thing with him is... Like, he builds up so quickly. Because he gets, like, four attacks in the turn. So this builds up, like, really quickly. Like, absurd. And then it's, since it's multiplicative, it's quite wild, right? Um, so that's pretty cool. They changed his evolve chance to 40%. Again, good link set. Look at all these teams. Oh, my God, dude. Look at all these teams he's helped. I didn't even notice that. He's a pure Saints 170% leader. Then this right here just gets all this instantly, which is good. Uh, the only thing that he has is super first. Technically, this guy, since he builds up, it's multiplicative and it's at the start of turn. Uh, because it's this is how this works, right? It's start of turn because it builds up. This guy needs to super attack first at all times. But he will technically have higher defense, right? But this Vegeta would be a better slot one defensive unit. Um, he gets a crit chance, which is very good. The biggest thing, addition to him though, is the rare chances to become super attacks on the additionals. It's only a 15% chance, but that could really, really come into play, I feel like, right? You could definitely see that happen, uh, many situations. Especially considering that, again, he does like four attacks every turn. I think it's very likely you see like two super attacks from him consistently. And then if you build up that crit in his final form, dude, he's wild. This blue evolution would be just really good. I think they did a great job on his EZA. Um, we have the two new super battle road stages. We'll see what they are. They did announce that the LRs are still going to be easy in here. So what they're going to do is they're going to give us like some medals for the LR each time. So like, I think we might have the LR easy in the data download. They, we might not get them for like months to be able to use them. But like, we can't even use a support memory for this yet. <laughs> Which is funny. I, can we see that? Uh, if you took scroll down here on JP. We still need like three stages besides this new one being added before we can use that support memory. We have the Battle of Gods, uh, Dragon Ball story coming. We know we saw in the V jump. There's this God Goku support memory. Um, we'll see if anything comes out of this. I don't know because the same saga support memory we got the part two LRs for the anniversary with the GT story event that led into like GT themes for the anniversary as well. It was a baby saga one, right? But I don't know. Uh, we'll see if this means anything. Maybe go to week because of the superhero stuff. If you guys haven't heard Superhero Zulade, I might make a separate video on that. Um, so I guess stay tuned. And then we have Chain Battle against Majin Buu Good on the 28th. So yeah, a lot of the stuff dropping over the next few periods of time. Um, this is going to be nice stones too. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, get, I think I can talk about Bardock. Bardock's good. He wants to be in a full team Bardic team, but with this damage reduction and like give him orb and stuff, he can be really nasty and he seals, so that's pretty cool. We need like a new Dokkan Fest Bardock from like when he's gonna kill Frieza. I know it's the same name here, but this guy would still be really good on that team, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. That is the Saiyan Day celebration. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.